Let's take a moment to look at auditing and the fundamentals. Um, with an auditing policy, you're going to have the um, security administrators go through and define a policy that has the auditing uh, procedures on each database. Um, you have to decide what questionable type of activities are suspected that you're going to be looking for in the audit and you're going to decide what level of detail to audit in the database. Um, general system auditing is uh, followed with more specific types of auditing after uh, you look to determine what kind of activity is going on. So auditing is going to be monitoring and recording selected user um, actions. It can be based on either the individual actions such as the uh, type of SQL statement run or a combination of factors uh, could be things like a name, application, time, so on. Uh, the security policies can cause auditing when specific elements in the database are accessed or altered, uh, including the content. You're going to have the audit uh, examine documentation that relates from the business or the individual actions or practices. Um, when you start talking about uh, measures, the, it's going to measure the compliance compliance to policies and procedures, uh, process and, and uh, relationship to the laws. We can think of auditing being used to enable future accountability for the current actions that are taking place in a schema, a table, a row, um, affecting certain kind of contact. Um, it could be to investigate a suspicious activity. For example, if an authorized user is deleting data from table, then the system administrator could set up um, all the connections to the database and all the successful and unsuccessful deletions of the rows from the tables in the database. Likewise, you can use it to monitor, uh, monitor and gather data about specific database activities. An uh, example would be the administrator can gather, gather statistics about which tables are being updated and how many logical input outputs are performed, how many concurrent users connect at peak times, that sort of thing. So that would be looking at the effectiveness and uh, the adequacy of the entity. Um, with that, you're going to go through and review the reliability, integrity of uh, that particular entity. You're going to make sure that um, your organization is complying uh, with different policies that are set, procedures, uh, the different regulations, laws and such uh, that are set forth and then you're going to go through and establish plans and policies and procedures uh, for conducting the particular audits so you know what you're looking at and how you're going to be viewing it. So you can think of uh, the audit um, it's could be like a consultant to the architectures or the developers or the business analysts. Basically, you can have um, organization uh, it set up organizationally uh, doing internal uh, audits, and with that, you're going to look at the different items that are being met by uh, the organization and those who items you would want to audit. You're going to need to look at the different types of items that can be. Um, use for the audit and then look at the security issues that must be addressed and provide um, uh, and have the legal department involved in your audit for uh, making sure that everything's uh, lined up correctly. So with that as far as the type of the records that you could be using for auditing uh, you could look at successful statement executions, unsuccessful executions or both you could look at statement execution once each of the user sessions or every time uh, the statement is run or you could look at activities of all users or a specific user. There are just different components that are involved in auditing. Um, you need to set up your auditing uh, objectives and with that that's going to indicate what you're trying to accomplish, what's important, uh, what things you're looking at and then your procedures are going to be the step-by-step -step instructions and tasks that you would uh, use to actually evaluate the objectives that you set up. 
you when you look at uh, the individuals involved, it could be the auditor, it could be employees, it could be managers. So there's different roles involved in the audit itself, um, according to what you're trying to go through and uh, monitor and track. Um, with that, then there's documents, processes, systems that are involved with the audit.